100 and 200 meter double at a global level championship is a desirable achievement for any sprinter. We have few athletes attempting it at the World Track and Field Championships in Budapest this month and Shakir Richardson of USA is definitely one of the popular athletes to try it this time. Richardson, who is going for first global championships, has qualified for both 100 and 200 meter events at the US Championships last month. Richardson is no doubt one of the best 100 meter sprinters in the world, with a 10.71 seconds personal best, which is the second fastest time this year and seventh fastest time of all time. Richardson recorded this time in the heats of the US Outdoor Championships before winning the US 100m title. She then entered in the 200m event to double up where she finished in second behind Gabby Thomas. Shakari posted an incredible time of 21.94 seconds, first time going inside 22 seconds in her career. Her 100m and 200m times this year are actually pretty good and she can be considered as a medal contender for both events. But I feel like that Shakari has more chances to win the gold medal in the 100 meter event compared to 200 meters. Her 200 meter time is the fourth fastest time this year behind US Championships winner Gabby Thomas, reigning world champion Sheikha Jackson and the NCAA champion Julian Alfred. Shakari will surely need to improve her lifetime 200 meter best by a huge margin if she needs to lift the world title in the half lap distance as we can expect Gabby Thomas and Sheikha Jackson to run super fast times in Budapest. Even though her chances to become the world champion in the 200m event is slightly low, we can still expect her to become the world champion in the women's 100m event, which is a pet event. But the path is not going to be easy with number of world-class sprinters participating in Budapest. Her one of the biggest competitors in the 200m event, Sherika Jackson will be lining up against her in the 100m event as well as the world leader with a time of 10.65 seconds. Shakari will also have to race against the defending world champion Shelly Ann Fraser Price and experienced sprinters like Mario Setalu and Dean Asher Smith, who have already posted lightning quick times this season. Shakai Richardson is certainly one of the sprinters to watch out for the world 100m title this year and might make the podium in the 200m as well. What are your thoughts about Shakari's chances for a medal in Budapest?